Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and I wanted to hop on and just do like a life update kind of thing. And, um, ooh, the tripod's wobbly. I'm moving around. <laughs> Sorry. If you can hear noises in the background, one, my window's open, so the wind chimes are making noises, which I love. And two, Jesse's in his bedroom playing a game on the Switch, so you might hear him playing that. <laughs> but Devin just left. I'm sitting here. I got this real floppy white yarn that I'm going to wind into a ball. <laughs> because I hate when they get all floppy. And I got like ramen noodle from where I ripped out a <laughs> project. So I'm gonna uh, wind it up while I'm talking to you guys. But I did wanna just come on here. I did post on my Facebook group yesterday that I may not be making videos just because of all the stress, you know, from all the stuff that's going on in the world. But um, last night, you know, I got a lot of nice messages from people and uh, comments and, and then I just thought, you know, um, I think my anxiety was really high yesterday. I have an issue with, uh, anxiety <laughs> and uh, paranoia sometimes especially when you know big things are going on in the world and some big's going on right now so uh, I think I panicked a little which is fine you know I calmed down a little bit yesterday uh, later in the day and I was thinking you know I, I need I want to surround myself with my friends my yarny friends and um, since I can't surround myself with people in real life <laughs> other than my husband and my son which I'm pretty sure we're gonna get tired of each other really quick but um, you know, I want to still be able to communicate with everybody through the internet, through the YouTube channel, through the Instagram, and through the Facebook group, <laughs> and everybody else's YouTube channels too. So I want to keep in contact with everybody, and I'm going to try to make videos. They may just not be as formal as if I make formal videos anyways, but um, I haven't had a lot of crochet time lately. I've been working on other things, and then I did just uh, sew a whole lot, so now I can start crocheting again now that I uh, I'm done with the bags and they're already up and mostly sold so I do appreciate that but I am actually I, I kind of came with an idea last night or this morning I can't remember but I wanted to try to make some little like appliques and maybe some little amigurumis just over the next few weeks hopefully that's as far as this goes um, just to share on the the, uh, the channel and I'm going to you know it's gonna be a free video obviously and then I will also type it up and uh, I might make a PDF if anyone's interested in that or just say, you know, just put it in the description. But uh, I'm just going to, like, I made two little appliques this morning that I'm going to make a video of probably tomorrow because Devin's off work tomorrow. Yeah, it's a little bunny head. <laughs> and this is a little carrot. I haven't woven in the ends. Just quick little appliques that I thought would be cute um, to decorate other things with or to, I even thought about using them as, like, table confetti, you know, like, just to make a bunch of different colors and throw them around for the holiday. So those two will be coming out for sure. <laughs> and then I might try to make some more just springy themed ones or I don't know, I haven't, I don't know. I just made those because Easter is coming up. And uh, today actually I had to run to the store to get a couple of things that we needed. And we're trying to avoid Walmart because Walmart is crazy right now. <laughs> As I'm sure everybody's Walmart is. So we went to the Dollar General, which was right beside our post office because I had to go drop off some packages. Anyways, um, I guess this is like a crocheting chat, but this is a wind and chat. <laughs> but uh, I haven't done one of these in forever, so yeah. But anyways, what was I saying? Went to the dollar store, and I got some uh, Easter candy for Jesse. <laughs> because I was afraid, you know, Easter's only like two weeks away, maybe? Three weeks away? I don't even know. Two or three weeks away. And I was worried that if this is still going on horrible, you know, like it is right now. Not horrible, but you know, we're all supposed to stay home in a few weeks. Then I wanted to have candy already. We already have eggs. So that we could have a little egg hunt here in our little yard and in the house even. I thought it would be fun. But uh, that's just, you know, just in case I don't want to get back out to the stores. Because I'm trying to avoid getting out anyways. Because I don't, I definitely don't want to get sick and I don't want to give it to Jesse. And um, a lot of you guys know from watching me that I am really close to my mom. But my mom is older and she isn't in the best health. So I'm going to have to stay away from her for a while and that kind of sucks. But, um, you know, nothing we can do except just listen to... What everybody's, you know, the government's telling us to do and try to uh, be as safe as we can. And that's what we're doing here. So we're stocked up on everything. We didn't go crazy. <laughs> we actually bought toilet paper before everybody started freaking out. It was early last week, I think, that we, we went just shopping <laughs> and got, uh, and we already have, we always have a lot of food on here because I'm one of those people who like to stock up on stuff when it's on sale so that uh, when it's not on sale, I don't have to pay full price for it. <laughs> so we're good in food and uh, I got a lot of craft supplies. I got a lot of yarn. And I got some fabric. I was already destashing my fabric by using it. But uh, I think I'm going to just kind of pull out of it and um, 
make whatever bags I can just between now and whenever and um, maybe randomly put them in the Etsy shop or probably just might just hoard them and then when all this is over just have a update then I don't know <laughs> and uh, I want to design more patterns I put out two this week and Easter well a rabbit doesn't necessarily have to be Easter little treat bag and um, I am a groomy chick <laughs> and he's really big he's big like my hocus the witch frog is matter of fact he's the same base <laughs> and um, I have an idea for some other ones that I want to try to put out soon and uh, you know it's just fun it's fun to pattern design and it's fun to share them with you guys and I'm working on I'm gonna be working on bags like I said I do have an amigurumi from a zoomigurumi book let's see or was it the one I bought or was it one someone gifted me it was from a book that I was gifted it was from zoomigurumi 8 <laughs> it's the beaver I have it all crocheted except the teeth because I didn't have finger and weight yarn I didn't realize I needed small yarn so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use worsted weight and I'm just going to make my own teeth <laughs> for it. And um, I just need to sew it together and stuff it and all that. I just haven't done that yet. Uh-oh. Not. I hate that. But yeah. So I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that I will still be making videos on this channel and also the the Life channel. Um, I won't be any vlogs because we won't be doing anything vlog worthy. <laughs> but um, we stocked up on video games and... Um, board games and art supplies and stuff and Devin's got his guitar and all that so we'll be occupied we'll just be at home a lot <laughs> which is fine but we do have a really nice big yard there's no trees or nothing it's just the apartment complex yard and it's got a playground but it's not the greatest so we'll go outside a lot when weather permitting but the next few weeks it's supposed to be raining a whole lot <laughs> so it's really beautiful today it's supposed to be 78 degrees here which is well, nice I got the window open and I had it open all day yesterday while I was sewing the bags. Let me just tell you, I was fibers. <laughs> I was in a rush to get these bags done because I wanted to hurry and get them up and sewed so that we could have some extra money in our bank account. Um, yesterday I sewed from like 7.30 in the morning all the way to about, well it was right as Devin was coming in so it was like 11.20 at night. You know I took breaks, I stopped to eat and stuff. <laughs> but I pretty much sewed all day and I got four days worth of sewing done in one day. And uh, the night before yesterday, I was sitting watching a documentary on Netflix and I was cutting all the fabric and I actually got it all cut. The project bags, the notion pouches and the interfacing and all the liner material while watching TV. And normally that takes me a while to do. So I guess I was just really um, motivated to get them bags up. So I did get them all up and most of them are sewed. So I do uh, thank you all for that. There's still a few in the shop, I think. Um, last time I checked there was and some people's bought my chick uh, pattern which is really cool I love it when my patterns sell it makes me feel so cool and I love 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 when you guys share me pictures that you made with my pattern either on Instagram or on the Facebook group it's just so cool to see um, pictures actually I have some of them saved on my computer <laughs> with the person's name on it and all that I don't know I came, got another knot oh so annoying but um, yeah so look how big it is it's getting there this was one of those jumbo red heart skeins so and it gets floppy after just a little while so i'm just trying to skein it up i'm actually really low on white yarn i have this and i think some of a uh karen one pound that i was gifted and then the rest of it that i have is like off white so hopefully i don't need much white in the next few weeks because i'm not about to go to walmart they changed the hours again from 7 30 to 8 at night 7 30 a.m to 8 at night and that just means that there's going to be a lot of people there between that time. So I told Devin, we're going to avoid that until we absolutely need fresh produce. Because that's the only place in our town that has fresh produce. We got a lot of it right now. So I'm not going back there until we run out of fresh stuff. And uh, hopefully this all gets goes away soon. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to keep my spirits up. I, like I said earlier, you know, I, um, a lot of people have mental health issues they don't like to talk about. I don't like to talk about mine just because it's just a private part of my life. You know, I don't talk about my physical health either all the way. You know, I'm talking about my weight loss journey, but not any of the other issues I have. So, uh, that's why I haven't really shared my mental health stuff. I'm not, like, diagnosed anything, but I definitely have an issue with paranoia. And I think that stems from being a kid when September 11th happened. Because I was 11 when that happened, and it traumatized me big time. And, uh, so now when anything happens, even remotely similar to that uh, I freak out and I start thinking you know the worst and I think that that's why Whew, these fibers are flying around and getting on my nose but um, I'm just trying to stay calm and talk to all my friends my yarny friends and 
you know, just trying to stay in spirits. I'm glad I'm done sewing so now I can start crocheting things I want to crochet. I got a whole line of things I want to crochet, don't we all? And I got another book gifted to me today. I checked the mail and I got Zoomer Guru Me 5. I'm slowly going to get them all. And um, there's a few things in here I definitely want to make. All right, first there's... Oh, hmm. I'll just... Ugh, alpaca. <laughs> and uh, let me... I think it's the very last one. Let me look. Yes. And there's a fish. <laughs> I would love to make those too. Um, but one thing I noticed about the Zimagurumi and Magurumis is there's a lot of sewing. That beaver's got a lot of sewing. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> but I, I can't wait to finish it and it's going to be so cute. I love beavers. I didn't know, I didn't realize I loved the beavers as much as I do until, um, uh, we found that beaver tree the other day and then I was looking them up and I was like, you know, they're cute. And then I started reading facts and stuff about them. And that's why I made the Emma Creamy. So I'll hopefully show that maybe in the next Don't Catch an episode. But I can't guarantee it'll all be pieced together because I've been procrastinating. He's been done and in the bag in pieces for like four or five days. Ooh, that's weird. I just felt that go through. Look at that. It's like a big part where it looks like it didn't get um, spent all the way. That's all right, I'm not gonna worry about it. I will cut that out when I make a project and get to it. It's so big now. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess that's pretty much everything I wanna say. I just wanted to follow up that post from where I was panicking. I kinda got a rude comment on there. I didn't delete it because when you delete a post from a group that you run, you have to give the person a reason. And I didn't wanna have to message the person and tell them why I deleted their post. But if they're watching this, um, she basically told me to quit being negative, and that's like a really negative thing to say to someone, especially since you don't know how people's mental standings are. Uh, it's kind of like what I mentioned on my other channel on one of my recent videos about, you know, you never know what people's going through, so you, you should really watch what you say to them, because you can be, you could say the one thing that breaks a person, and, uh, that's what I thought when I read her comment. I was like, that's kind of rude because first of all it's my group and I should be able to post whatever I want in there because it's my group I run it <laughs> and second of all I wasn't posting something negative I was updating you guys on my life because a lot of you want to know you know like if I had just disappeared I would have gotten tons of messages from you guys wanting to know if I was okay and where I was and all that so but yeah I just thought that was kind of rude that she, the way she worded it she probably should have worded it better <laughs> but yeah anyways I'm almost got this wound up <laughs> this is a lot of it it's I don't even think half of it was used, but I'd been moving it around a lot using it for amigurumi pieces. No, we don't. We got orange juice. You're supposed to say please. All right, I'll bring you some in a minute. Ta -da. He's wanting orange juice. He wanted chocolate milk, but we don't have any. <laughs> But there's the ball. It's all wound up. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. Uh, like I said, I'm going to make the little videos for these two little appliques. Hopefully tomorrow. Because like I said, Devin's he's scheduled off tomorrow. Um, because he's switching shifts. <laughs> and they're supposed to go back in Saturday to work. But I don't know if they're going to be off. They, they've been talking about having them be off for two weeks. But they haven't actually officially announced it yet. So hopefully they will let them know soon. Because it's kind of hard to plan ahead for our life if we don't know what his work schedule is going to be. But anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and hop off. I'm going to go get Jesse some orange juice. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. And yeah, bye guys.